हेलो स्टूडेंट्स 1830s में एक ब्रिटिश फिजिसिस्ट माइकल फैराडे ने फिजिक्स को फील्ड लाइंस का कॉन्सेप्ट दिया इस फील्ड लाइंस के बारे में आपने अपने फिजिक्स के कोर्स में पढ़ाई है हम आज के वीडियो में फील्ड लाइंस की कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज को रिव्यू करेंगे थ्रू एग्जाम्पल्स मोस्ट ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स आर ऑन ईजियर साइड एक्सेप्ट दी लास्ट वन आखिरी वाला थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट हो सकता है तो आइए इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस की प्रॉपर्टीज को एक्सप्लोर करते हैं थ्रू सम एग्जाम्पल्स ये पहला क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन से इज एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय फील्ड लाइंस एज शोन इन द फिगर दिस इज अ फिगर रिप्रेजेंटिंग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइन इन स्पेस यहाँ पे इस कमरे में आजू बाजू कहीं बहुत सारे चार्जेस हैं जिसकी वजह से यहाँ पे एक इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एग्जिस्ट करती है उस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड के वेरिएशन को समझाने के लिए किसी साइंटिस्ट ने ऐसा एक डायग्राम बनाया है उसने कहा कि इस कमरे में इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस का बेस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन है ये डायग्राम इस सर्कल को इग्नोर कीजिएगा दीज आर फील्ड लाइन्स ओके न द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इज द फील्ड यूनिफॉर्म इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड यूनिफॉर्म I hope most of you know the answer. It is not. It is not. The lines of electric field, when they are parallel and equidistant, when they are parallel and at equal separation, then such lines represent a uniform field. Uniform field means field which has got same strength everywhere and same direction everywhere. So such field is represented by equally spaced parallel lines. these are not equally spaced parallel lines so the field is not uniform field is non uniform in fact at this particular point a the strength of field is higher than the strength of field at point b because field lines are drawn in such a manner so that the density of field lines represents the strength of electric field here the lines are closer they are denser more number of lines are passing through a unit cross sectional area as compared to this point so lines are closer denser means at point a we have higher field strength as compared to point b okay and tangent drawn on any of the field lines gives the direction of electric field at that particular point okay now the second question is consider a circular path as shown there is an electric field in this space in this room field lines have been drawn to represent that field and now consider a circular path in that electric field work done by electric field in moving a charge q through quarter of the circle is w i am again drawing the circle this is the circular path and you are carrying a charge capital q in your pocket and you go around this circle the electric field exists in this space right you move with this charge in your pocket once around the circle now the question says ki work done by electric field in moving a charge q through quarter of the circle is w that means when you turn through 90 degree when you move from this point to this point you cover 1/4 of the circle and in that duration work done by electric field on the charge is w work done by electric field when you take this charge from this point to this point is w what is work done what is work done in moving the charge through the remaining circle what is work done by electric field uh what is work done by the field in moving the charge through the remaining circle ab is charge ko yahan se yahan tak lane mein electric field ne kitna work kiya video pause karke soch lena the answer is minus w why the electrostatic field is conservative in nature the electrostatic field field created by static charges electrostatic field is conservative in nature work done by such a field or such a force electrostatic force work done by electrostatic force in any closed path is always zero always 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 zero so if i am carrying charge q in my pocket and if i take it through a round trip and come back to the same point then work done by electric force on that charge is always zero you know the field may be uniform the field may not be uniform 
doesn't matter. If it is electrostatic field, it is conservative. Work done by it in a round trip is always zero. So if work done in moving from this point to this point is W, then certainly work done in moving from this point to this point has to be minus W, so that the total work done becomes zero. So the answer is minus W. Okay. Let us move on to this next question. This is a question which was asked in IITJE exam much earlier. Uh, if I could recall it correctly, it is 2003 or 2-4, something like that. Three positive charges of equal value Q are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. There are three positive charges placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. Uh, the charges have got same magnitude. Which of the following most correctly represents the resulting lines of force? Which of the following diagram represents, correctly represents the electric lines, uh, electric field lines? Now, in this particular question, to answer this particular question, we need to know few things. First, electric field lines always originate at a positive charge or at infinity and they always terminate on a negative charge or at infinity. So, if there is a positive charge and a negative charge placed close to one another, there will be field lines originating from positive charge and terminating onto the negative charge. If only positive charges are present here, then field lines will start from this positive charge, but they will terminate at infinity. If there is no negative charge in the surrounding vicinity, there is no point where the field lines can terminate. They will terminate at infinity as if there is a negative charge kept at infinity. So, in this particular diagram, it has been shown that field lines originate from one point, one charge and terminate on to other. The direction of arrow is not given, but does not matter. The field line may be originating here and terminating here or may be originating here, may be terminating here. In any case, this is wrong because all three charges are positive. So, if there are three positive charges, field lines can originate from those positive charges and they will ultimately end up at infinity if there is no other negative charge present in the surrounding uh, vicinity. Now, let us go to this option. This option appears to be quite correct, uh, but, but there is a field line which has been shown in the shape of a circle. The students, in electrostatics, field lines never form closed loop. Electric field lines are always open-ended always open ended. They start from one point, they terminate at another point. Uh, they cannot form a closed loop. Aap mein se kuch log confused ho gaya, mujhe dikh raha hai. Aapko lag raha hai, pichle circle mein kya tha circle? Any circle was not field line. <laughs> field lines are like this. Circle was an imaginary path on which we carried a charge, we carried a test charge. It was not a field line. Okay. So, no field line can be closed loop. So, this option is again wrong. Here also the field lines have been shown to be closed loops, which is obviously wrong. So, we are left with this choice, it has to be correct. Actually, actually if these, these are three positive charges placed over here, field lines will start from these three positive charges and all of them, all of them have no other place to go, they will terminate at infinity very close to any one of these charges, very close to any one of these charges, very close to this particular charge, all field lines will be radial, all field lines will be radial. Yaha pe, yaha pe, yaha pe field lines, they are all emanating radially from this positive charge. But uh, if there is no other charge in the surrounding, all field lines will move radially to infinity. But in presence of other charges, they will get, they will get curved. So, these field lines, they all emanate radially, but they may get curved like this. They may get curved like this. So, similar lines will be drawn here and here also. So, bahut achche se nahi bana hai, but more or less this is what it will look like. And more importantly, more importantly, there is a void at the center. The diagram shows that there is no field line at the center, right? If this is an equilateral triangle, three positive charges have been placed at the vertices, then at the center of the triangle, there is no field line. A void, void means no field line. No field line is passing through a particular point means electric field is zero over there. Yes, it has to be. Common sense says that if you place three charges Q, Q, Q here at the centroid of the triangle, the electric field will be zero. And 
how do we show zero field in an electric field diagram? At that particular point where the field is zero, the line's density, density of field lines will be zero. So, no particular field line can pass through that point where electric field is zero. So, this diagram satisfied, satisfies all those conditions and we will go for this as the correct answer. Now, here is the another question. What can you say about sign of three charges if electric field lines due to three charges Q1, Q2 and Q3 is as shown in this figure? There are three charges kept on a straight line and electric field lines have been shown in the figure. What can you say about charges, sign of these three charges? Is there any relationship in the magnitude of the charges? Please pause the video. Please pause the video. Try it yourself. Dekhe, yahan dikhaya gaya hai is diagram mein, is charge se field lines start ho kar, is charge ke upar akar terminate ho rahi hai. Is charge se field lines start ho kar, is charge ke upar terminate ho rahi hai. So, Q1 or Q2 say field lines start ho rahi hai, so they have to be positive. Q, sorry, Q3, I am so sorry. Q1 or Q3 say start ho rahi hai, so they have to be positive. Q2 pe field lines aake terminate ho rahi hai, therefore Q2 charge is negative. So, what about the magnitude? Now, there is one more rule when you draw electric field lines. The rule is very important. If this is a positive charge, I draw field lines going radially outward of this charge. Let us assume there is no other charge present in the vicinity. There is no other charge present here. How many lines should I draw? How many lines should I draw? There is no rule to that. You can draw any, any, any number of lines that you want. It all depends on sharpness of your pencil. How sharp your pencil is? If you have a very sharp pencil, you can go on drawing more and more diagrams, uh, more and more lines. The higher the number of lines, better is the diagram, no doubt. But it all depends on sharpness of your pencil. Okay. So, how many lines have to be drawn? There is no rule to it. There is no rule to it, but there is one rule. In one particular diagram, in one particular diagram, the number of field lines is starting or terminating at a charge. Number of field lines is starting at a positive charge or number of field lines terminating at a negative charge. The number of field lines starting or terminating at a charge must be proportional to magnitude of the charge. Must be proportional to magnitude of the charge. It means if this is charge Q and I have shown n number of lines starting from it, then if I have got some other charge 2Q, if I have got some other charge 2Q in the same diagram, in the same discussion, then I must draw 2n number of lines starting or terminating at this charge. The magnitude of charge is important. For example, if this is plus q, then I have shown n number of lines originating from this charge. If this is minus 2q, let us say, then I will show 2n number of lines terminating at this charge, 2n number of lines, yes. So, number of lines that start or terminate at a charge is always proportional to uh, the magnitude of the charge. So, if there are n lines over here, it will be 2 n lines over here. If it is a negative charge, field lines are going towards the charge. If it is a positive charge, they are moving out of the charge. Now, going by this rule, going by this rule, look at this diagram, look at this diagram. Uh, how can I uh, find any relationship between the magnitude of the charges? Just by counting the number of lines, there is no other way out. What am I saying? This is what I am saying. How many lines are emanating from this charge? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Diagram banane wale ne yaha se start hone wale 10 lines dikhaya hai. Similarly, if I am not mistaken, is diagram may be, uh, is chart se bhi start hone wale 10 lines dikhaya gaya hai. Ek hi diagram mein is chart se 10 lines chal rahi hai aur is chart se bhi 10 lines chal rahi hai. It simply means both the charges must have same magnitude. So, obviously Q1 and Q3 have got same magnitude. Q1 and Q3 are positive, they have got same magnitude. Are you getting my point? What about Q2? How many lines are terminating at Q2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Q2 is a negative charge. 
three lines are terminating on that charge and there are total 10 lines terminating at this charge. See, 10 lines are originating here, 10 lines are originating here, 10 lines are terminating here. So, this charge also has same magnitude as that of Q1 and Q3. So, as far as magnitude is concerned, all these three charges have same magnitude. Now, some of you must be thinking, if there are 10 lines which are coming out of this charge and 10 lines coming out of this charge and only there are 20 lines which are coming out of these two charges, only 10 are terminating here. Where are the other 10 going? These 10 lines are going to infinity. As if there is a negative charge at infinity, these lines all will go to infinity. So, यहाँ से 10 लाइन निकली, यहाँ से 10 लाइन टोटल 20 लाइन निकली, उसमें से 10 यहाँ खत्म हो गई, बाकी की 10 इनफिनिटी पे चली गई। लाइंस को काउंट करके मैं बता सकता हूँ कि चार्जेस के मैग्नीट्यूड में क्या रिलेशन है। I hope you have understood this. Ah, uh, now this is a question. A conducting block has a cavity. Conducting block, conducting block. It is a conductor. It has a cavity. There is a point charge inside the cavity. There is a point charge placed inside the cavity. Point charge induced on the surface of the cavity. Is charge ke, eh, is cavity ke surface pe kitna charge induced hua hai bataiye and draw electric field lines in the entire region. Now, most of the time to find the charge over here, uh, hum aisa ek Gaussian surface le lete hain and we show that charge is minus Q. I'll give you another line of approach. Main thoda aapko differently sochne ke liye ऐसे मजबूर कर रहा हूँ सोचिए मेरे साथ पहले तो आप अपने क्वेश्चन का आंसर खुद दे सकते हैं तो जरूर दीजिए जैसे भी दे सकते हो फिर मेरी बात सुनिए ये प्लस क्यू चार्ज है यहाँ से फील लाइंस स्टार्ट होंगी और ये फील लाइंस गौर किया जाए ये फील लाइंस अभी मैं सिर्फ यहाँ पे दिखा रहा हूँ हमने n number of lines को start होता हुआ दिखाया. Now where are these lines eventually going to? Will these field lines go to infinity? The answer is no, because there is another concept which you have learned that there is no electric field line inside a conductor. When we when we, we when we are talking about electrostatics, where charges are all static, then no electric field line can pierce through, can pass through a conducting body. So, this is conducting wall and no electric field line can simply go to infinity like this. There cannot be any electric field over here, which means there cannot be any electric field line in this space. So, if n number of lines are starting here, all of them must terminate on this surface only. They have no other place to go. So, all of them will terminate on the wall of the cavity. Ah, dusri baat. आपने पढ़ा है कि कंडक्टर के वॉल पे फील लाइंस नॉर्मल होती हैं तो प्लीज ध्यान दीजिएगा यहां से फील लाइन निकली तो रेडियल बट ये ऐसे ही सीधे-सीधे नहीं चलेंगी अदरवाइज दे विल नॉट बी नॉर्मल ऑन टू द सरफेस ऑफ द कैविटी वॉल सो दे मे गेट कर्व्ड यस दे विल गेट कर्व्ड लाइक दिस सो दैट दिस एंगल इज 90 डिग्री द फील लाइन फॉल्स एग्जैक्टली एट एन एंगल ऑफ 90 डिग्री टू द सरफेस ऑफ द कंडक्टर देयर इज अनदर फील लाइन ओके दिस इज नॉर्मल अपीयर्स टू बी नॉर्मल this will bend like this, this may bend like this, this may bend slightly like this, this may bend slightly like this, so on and so forth. But the point is, if n number of lines are starting from, starting from this particular charge, all of them have to terminate on the wall of the cavity. All these field lines are bound to terminate on the wall of the cavity. So, if n lines are starting here and n lines are terminating here, we have just studied in and understood that both the charges should of should be of equal magnitude which means if this is q then charge induced on the wall of the cavity has to be minus q how do i know that because yahan se n line shuru hui aur ye sab line yahan khatam ho gayi q charge se start hone wali sari line ek dusri charge pe khatam ho jaye to wo dusre charge ko minus q hona hi padega यहाँ से n line शुरू हुई यहाँ n line खत्म हुई तो this has to be minus q no more argument is required actually right so the induced charge will be minus q now because this conductor is originally neutral so if a minus q charge has been induced here uh, that means electrons in this conductor have been have been attracted onto the wall of the cavity obviously this has got negatively charged but the other wall the other surface of the conductor will become positively charged. 
right students so there will be some positive charge over here now the question says draw electric field lines in the entire space okay so i have drawn the field lines here there is no field line here and here the field lines will start normally normally means normal perpendicular to the wall of the conductor everywhere all these field lines will be normal to the wall of the conductor everywhere in electrostatic condition field lines on the surface of a conductor are always normal perpendicular all these angles are 90 degree okay now here afterwards field lines may may bend may bend jaise ye aisa nikla hai okay it can bend slightly and when we go at a very large distance from this uh, this thing this object actually how will the field line appear like when i am at a very large distance when i am looking at this system from a very large distance it will just appear like a point charge q q minus q plus q it will just appear like a point charge q so at a very large distance very very large distance suppose this is the object i am drawing it like a point this is the object ye pure cheez ko ek point bana diya bahut dur se dekh raha hu to bahut dur pe jab main dekhunga to yahan field lines kya honge all will be radial it will just appear like a point point charge so ye sabhi field line dur ja ke to radial honi hi honi hai i hope you have understood this now this is your next question uh a positive and a negative charge are kept at some separation this is a positive charge this is a negative charge they have been kept at some separation the diagram shows a rough sketch of field lines this diagram shows a rough sketch of field lines compare the magnitude of the two charges now this is the question which you, all of you should be able to answer compare the magnitude of the charges quick be quick pause kar de video bata de number of lines hi to count karni hai tere ko ye 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 lines yeah is pe kitna terminate hua 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 lines so if this is q this is minus q by 2 if this is q minus q then this is plus 2q right so this charge is double in magnitude of this charge this answers your first question now the second one a is a point to the left of the negative charge a is a point to the left of the negative charge no field lines pass through a a is a point from where no field lines are actually passing through dekhiye pehle isko samajhiye yahan se maine 14 lines nikalti hui dikhai aur saath yahan terminate hoti hui dikhai baki ki saath kahan ja rahi hai infinity pe ja rahi hai ye charge plus 2q hai aur ye charge minus q hai right a ek aisa point hai jahan se ek bhi field line pass nahi ho rahi मतलब अभी अभी बात की हमने वहां पे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जीरो है पॉइंट ए पर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जीरो है पॉइंट ए पर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जीरो है तो क्वेश्चन कह रहा है फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ पॉइंट ए फ्रॉम द नेगेटिव चार्ज इफ द सेपरेशन बिटवीन द टू चार्जेस इज दी व्हिच मींस द क्वेश्चन इज सिंपली दिस इफ दिस टू क्यू दिस माइनस क्यू सेपरेशन बिटवीन दीज टू चार्जेस इज दी देन देयर इज अ पॉइंट ए समवेयर हियर at a distance x from minus q where the electric field is zero do you think there will be such a point thoda soch ke dekhiye you will be able to find yes there is a point a where electric field is zero you have to calculate this distance x 2q minus q at what distance x the electric field will be zero very simple because of this negative charge electric field will be in this direction and its strength will be k q by x square because of this positive charge electric field will be in this direction and its strength will be k 2q d plus x whole square so if these two fields cancel out if these two fields are equal in magnitude they are already opposite in direction so if they happen to be equal in magnitude obviously the resultant field at point a will be zero so a point a from where no field line is passing how can we locate that point just by knowing that at that particular point electric field is 0 0 0 so you can just solve this equation to get the value of x ye dono taraf square root kar do aur uske baad x ke liye solve kar do khud kar lena theek hai are kar loge na bhai zarur kar loge 
तो हमने मोस्ट ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस को अभी तक कवर कर लिया है स्टूडेंट्स आई होप कि आज के इस सेशन में आपको इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस से रिलेटेड सारे इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट रिवाइज हो गए हैं मिलते हैं फिर से अगले वीडियो में बाय बाय